Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden. Today we're back with Love Bites with their song Holy War performed live at Zep Diver City, Tokyo in 2020. All right, so after doing our bandmade reaction, um, which came out yesterday, uh, or was it today? Came out today. Yeah. <laughs> or I guess yesterday now is past midnight. Anyway, besides the point, um, or since that came out, everyone wanted me to check out this group called Love Bites. Um, they thought that I would really enjoy it. Uh, apparently, because they're huge Iron Maiden fans as well, which obviously. Uh, Obviously, I also am, in case you couldn't figure that one out. Um, and they gave me a list of songs. Somebody gave me, like, three songs they said I should check out from the live show, and I just picked uh, the middle one. I just like the name Holy War. It sounds cool. Uh, it's one of my one of my favorite songs by Megadeth as well. I was like, eh, well, I'll just choose that one. It'll be, <laughs> it'll be easy. I'll pick that one, and it'll be good to go. So um, I know a lot of people gave me a lot of description for the band. I just haven't. I haven't really had time to go check it out. Uh, thank you for those of you that wrote the huge comments either way, even if I had if I haven't had a chance to read a lot of it yet. Um, it was like reading a small book, so I just haven't really had the time during the day. I don't have much time to read huge, huge comments. I just can quickly look on my phone and while I'm, you know, doing chores and hanging out with my child and stuff. So, but thank you nonetheless for the information. So if I need to pick up any more information, I can go look into there. Um, so yeah, let's jump in and check these check these girls out because uh, I, I don't even know what style they do or any of that so let's go oh okay I gotta turn that up Okay, I was not expecting. Whoa, 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 Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's like straight up, like it's it's metal, man. Like the the classical sense of metal so far. Um, even almost borderline on the on the thrashy side a little bit there. All right, you got my attention. And just from her uh, her uh, telling to throw their hands up in the air at the start there, she's gonna have a voice. We'll just restart because it caught me a little bit off, off guard. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Okay, I was looking for a good spot to stop it, but she wasn't stopping. They're <laughs> still going. She was just singing constantly. Oh man. Okay. So a lot of like elements of like that straight up, just heavy metal feel, almost like a, a 
like the quickness from Judas Priest as they moved on to like painkiller albums and stuff like that. I almost have like that feel from the instrumentation wise. Um, somebody's telling me that they were huge Iron Maiden fans, uh, and I think you get that in her vocals. Um, she's really going for that that era of vocals, like that that eighties. Uh, a lot of the guys that came up singing late seventies and then the, their bands all exploded in the early eighties, like that style of. Um, New Wave of British heavy metal and stuff like that, uh, stuff like that. Um, she has like that element. I do wish there was subtitles so I could completely understand what she's saying because uh, uh, she just she, just like mixed with all of the guitars and drums and all that. Uh, I just find some of the some of the words she's saying it just it goes by. It could be it could be an accent thing. I'm really bad with accents, so I get used to them. Um, it's just how I am. Even if they're even if the person is speaking English. I've, I've just been bad with it. My ears are terrible for that until I get used to it. So um, that's probably my bad there. Um, I'm sure a lot of you can understand what she's saying fine. So um, so I probably could have popped up some lyrics as well to follow along. I, just, I don't want to jump back and forth between uh, one monitor and the other one while I'm trying to react to the music. So we're just going to react uh, in general. If I don't catch all the lyrics, it's fine because the music is, is top-notch so far. Let's, let's keep going. All right, well, and I will bring it back to hear that again. Um, they are super talented, man. I love, I love. When, first of all, I want to point out that I love how uh, in in Japan and place uh, Japan, uh, they just seem to love orange as like their amplifiers, and I love orange. I always like to point it out because you really don't see it a lot um, from a lot of bands in North America. It's a lot more Marshall or Mesa, even Mesa, which. I'm not a huge fan of Mesa uh, for their sound, but you see a lot of them probably because they're on the cheaper. I think they're usually on the cheaper end as well, but you know whatever. Um, I do love to to see those. I'm assuming that's orange back there. It's an orange amp, so I just assume it's orange. It should be. Um, man, they're good. They're they're so good. Um, I'm loving how we have the pair on the left of the stage that are just like rocking out and having such looking like they're, they're like having such a great time and then the drummer and the other guitarist on the right are just so serious and doing such a good job too though but they're they it, you can see like the type possibly the type of people that i don't want to this first time checking them out but um the one the, the, the one on screen right now the guitarist right there just seems to have a serious demeanor the whole time but but you can see how how technical she is and uh, and how much she just is like nailing it um the other guitarist as well is also very technical but she's just smiling a lot more a lot more movement and, and, and i love that you can see the different personalities in the group i always love seeing that live because you can kind of like kind of tell how, how the people in the band can be and it's not a negative saying that she's not rocking out as much either it's just you know it's just stuff you could see just by watching and I, that's why i love checking out live uh when i'm checking out a new band because it gives me more of a personal feeling of the band um that drummer has some stamina. <laughs> I gotta hear that. He's got like double kick most of the time, uh, which is cool. She's got the. I love how her um, 
her gloves uh, are just like matching her outfit perfectly. It almost made it. I I couldn't really see. It almost looked like it had like it flared out, like like as if it was like uh, to mix with like their dresses. Like it was more like a fancier glove. I could be wrong, but if it is, that's just like a, just a nice touch on like your 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 gear just to make the look fit better. Um, and the base has just been grooving like the whole time, the whole time just grooving. You can see she's into it. Um, and then obviously right here, right, right as I was finding a place to pause it, she lets out, you know, that goes for the whole, uh, just belts and out right out. And, uh, yeah, I can see why you guys want me to check these guys out. Cause you've seen, I was <laughs> Iron Maiden and checking out, um, band made. I can definitely see why you guys want me to check these guys out. And I'm glad you guys did. Let's continue. She has a marshal on the other side, though. I didn't even notice that was a Dean at first. Oh, that. Of course, they had to come in with twin guitar at the same time. Okay, well. So, here you got another little bit of personality trait. And I could be wrong with this, so. I'm just going off a of feel right now, okay? So, guitarist on the right-hand side of the stage here. Um, she seems to be the type that uh, is more on the classical style of, uh, of like, Shredder, where there's a lot of classical elements that she might possibly know. I, I'm just going off of the feel that she gives off. Uh, I could be completely wrong, uh, but that's how it felt when she did her solo. And then going over to the other side, on the left side of the stage, she felt like... She was straight up, like, influenced by, like, Shredders and stuff like that. Um, and the straight up, like, really nice soloists that we have uh, had through the years. Now, I could be wrong there. They could both be they could both be classically trained. I, I, you know, like, it's hard to say because I don't have that complete backdrop right now. But, again, you guys always let me know. And I do have a couple of comments with a bunch of information, so I might be able to find it out there afterwards as well. So uh, I did want to point that out. They both nailed the solo and then they're doing the, the melody after that together uh weren't playing the same thing just playing um the same melody it was on uh it was they were both playing yeah they're both it looked like they were both playing different different parts uh but just following the same melody but i could be i could be wrong
Nice. Nice. Oh man, that was that was great. I really enjoyed that, man. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys keep sending me these things, man. I love I was just saying to my fiance today, I was like I I found I had a hard time pulling myself back in to come and do the reactions again. Uh just being out of it for so long. I knew I wanted to. But I, at the same time, I was like, you know what? I, it's been a little bit less stressful at the same time. Because when you do this every day and you have the pressure, it comes up as a as a reactor. You're like, oh, I do want to keep putting out videos. I don't want to miss days. And I always want to make sure I record, even on days where I don't really feel like it. Because I don't want to miss a day. Um, it just comes with the it. Comes with it. Maybe, uh, maybe not right when you start, but eventually you just start to get... Maybe even burnt out is a good word. I kind of felt like that when I stopped to a certain degree because um, I was putting out a lot of videos that time sometimes it was more than one a day I think I was down to one a day at the end but uh, yeah it was starting to be a lot um, so I found I had a hard time coming back but I was just telling my fiance today that now that I've come back and with the videos and like having these new bands brought forward just like reignited the flame to want to do this because it had been so long since I had a chance to learn so many new groups again, check out bands that are dropping music that I that I know that I didn't even know was coming out because I I have been so uh, involved in my in in you know my family life and right now I haven't been it's almost been three weeks that I haven't been to work because of because uh, of COVID, so I I really haven't been in the loop and it's it's been nice it's been nice to be back and doing this and just discovering new music again and this is a prime example of that is what i'm getting at is bands like this um especially from other countries that are just amazing that i normally would not have any access to i just would not show up i of course i have access sorry uh i don't really have anyone pointing them out to me i wouldn't even know i wouldn't even know how to find these uh this band otherwise if you guys hadn't told me so that's the beauty of the youtube reaction is that sorry it's getting late uh, you get to see stuff, uh, you get to see stuff like this that I normally never would get the chance, and I wouldn't get have my mind blown by it. Um, cause they're such a tight band; they they're so tight, um, and it's it's not it's not often that like the lead singer isn't like the focal point for me. I really, really love both the guitarists and these ones. They're both amazing, and I love how the bassist really gets into it, and she just keeps a groove so good. Like man, like. Like it is one of those one of those things where like really the, uh, the lead singer she was really good, uh, but she probably has other songs where like she probably uh, goes off more than this I imagine, so I imagine I'll it'll probably change somewhere. It's always the way it goes, um, but in this song I found like all everyone playing instruments just like blew me away even more uh, than her, and that's not any hate on her at all because she still did amazing. Uh, it's just not often that happens uh, that I was so enthralled with uh, everyone playing instruments that I that I put like the the vocals on, more on the back burner. I was more inter intrigued by all the rest of them, um, but that could also be because it's first lesson, first time hearing the band too, right? That's another thing with reactions that you guys aren't seeing me after I've heard the song a bunch of times and I've gotten to know it. I could change after I hear it more times. So I want to specify that so someone's probably going to yell at me for saying that. It just happens. Um, but uh, I'm used to it by now, so even if it does happen, even with the explanation, whatever. Um, this makes me look forward to seeing more from them, you know? Like, they're, they're just a solid group. And again, thank you, whoever was the first person that said to do them. It was that first comment saying to do them. Uh, you sold me on it right there, so. And then the rest of you that kept saying afterwards as well, I just made me want to do it even more, so thanks for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see whenever I put out more videos. And as always, you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you later.